In each of the past few generations of Pokemon, a new battle mechanic or gimmick has been introduced, i.e. Megas, Z-Moves, and Dynamax. So, I thought I would continue that pattern with the fake Mon region I have been working on for the last six months, the Cornero region. In the last few videos we have covered the starters, where I briefly explain the gimmick, Route 1 Mons, and regional variants, so if you missed them, go check them out. The playlist is in the description down below. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with this series. With all that out of the way, it's gimmick time. I'll begin with how I came up with the concept for this gimmick. So, in the very early stages of planning this region, I had a few things I wanted to implement. First, I wanted to give Pokemon certain typings that I, as well as many other fans of the franchise, thought they should have had based on their design or general concept. Dreano60, the creator of many ROM hacks such as Volt White and Blaze Black, did this very thing in those games, and I loved it, but I wanted it to make sense mechanic-wise. Second, I wanted there to be some sort of new forms like Megas or Gigantamax, because if this was going to be an Instagram region, it should have something visual that could be put into a post, not something theoretical like a new battle style or something. Lastly, I wanted to introduce a new type that I believe should have been in the games, sound type. The games have a lot of mons and moves that are sound-based that could benefit from a new typing like that. So, how would I go about connecting these three things? Well, here is what I came up with. This is a nuclear type and a Dianaxis. Crystals with a mysterious radiant energy that may or may not be connected to the legendary Pokemon of the region have been found all over Cornera. Through the Dianaxis, you can harness that energy and create nuclear types. Okay, so we know what a nuclear type is, but what does it do? Once a nuclear type is given to certain Pokemon, it acts like an evolutionary stone. It binds with the part of their DNA that gives them their type and adds a new type or replaces an old one. A nuclear type can also be given to a Fossilmon to give them back their original typings, which is actually how nuclear types were discovered in Cornera, but I will save that for a future video. Thanks to the nuclear types binding to the Pokemon's DNA, some Pokemon can also achieve new forms, or even evolve. Allow me to introduce to you, Genos forms. This is Genos Golduck and Genos Audino. Genos Golduck is now Water Psychic and is based on the Horn Greb and Wise Elders, but the kind that could still kick your ass like Master Roshi or Netero. Its amplified psychic power rivals that of Alakazam, or even Mewtwo. Genos Audino is now a sound fairy type, and is based on pop stars, Japanese idols, and orchestra conductors. Its once small feelers on its ears have now grown larger, and so too has its abilities. It can now hear things from miles away, and can use its feelers to absorb sound, amplify it, and project it back through its voice at opponents. Now, for some evolutions caused by nucleotypes, or Nucleo Evos for short. Meet Dragarif and Grand Brawl. Dragarif is a dragon fairy type evolution to Dragonair. I always felt that Dratini and Dragonair should have been dragon fairy, and fans have always complained about how jarring the evolution from Dragonair to Dragonite is, so this is a way of remedying that. Dragarif is based on angels, the Caduceus, and the way Dragonair's wings are shown in the anime when they fly. Its name is based on Dragon and Seraph. It is said that if you see a Dragarif flying overhead, you will live a prosperous life. Grand Brawl is a fairy fighting type evolution to Granbull. Granbull always gave off this scrappy, ready to fight energy, and its stats left room for an evolution, so I went for it. When Grand Brawl starts running, it is almost impossible to stop it, and has the power to overwhelm a charging Balfalant. Grand Brawl is based on Bulldogs and football players, because the two are usually related. Go Bulldogs! So, I know this gimmick can be a little confusing, because honestly, I made it a little more complex than it probably should have been. Hindsight is 2020, I guess. But if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will try to answer as many as I can. Anyway, that's all for today. So once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video about the Cornero region. And don't forget to go support the incredible artists that make this all possible. They will all be linked in the description down below. With that, I will see you guys next time.